Hi everyone, it's uh, Will from Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. In today's episode, um, I didn't know where, how to start it and all that, and I was chatting to my friend Lewis, who, uh, who he's the guy who, ever, who first ever recorded me on site about three years ago. And I was like chatting, I was, you know, weren't too sure, and I was like, yeah, I want to show him all the new bits, so, like, you know, because you see uh, the wall, Bosch, and all that, you know, like, like, uh, Milwaukee got a few tools that have been out for ages, you know, like the uh, like the uh, battery um, heat gun, you know, you've got the uh, the whole hog here as well, and also you've got the pride and joy, you've got Patsy, the old uh, 18 volt tire slide. But when I was chatting to him, he was like, "Oh, review your review your uh, SDS 12 volt drill and all that," and, so, and I was like, "Nah, you know, it's been there, done that, you know." They've all got them, and then I, then I, you know, because obviously everything I want to review, I want to make sure there's comparisons because I appreciate, you know, there's a few of you like the world, a few of you like uh, Bosch, Hilti, Festival. You know, we've all got our own brands. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to show you Milwaukee's. I'm just trying to show you, you know, a power tool, you know. But then when I looked it up, there's there's no other, there's no other brand. I think Makita do one. It's a 12 volt, 12 volts, but. It is double the weight of that one. So in today's episode, what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna give you a quick little look around my uh, 12 volt SDS, yeah? Give us a minute and I'll put this away and we'll be back. Pow. So I just wanna quickly show you. So these are the M12s. So I'll just quick, quickly give you a little uh, show round of what they do. So these batteries on an M12, they come in uh, five different sizes. You've got the one five volt, you've got the uh, one five amp hours, you've got the two amp hours. If you look, these are the smaller types, yeah. These are quite frustrating because some drills they're hard to stand up. They will stand up, but they're a bit rickety. Then you've got the three amp power, you've got the four amp power, and you've got the six. Unlike the M18, with the M12, even if you use and even if you use a 1.5 in that, it will be no power difference. The, the only difference is it'd be the uh, how long how long it actually works for. You know, not to how powerful because with the M18 they've got like high demand batteries, which you know, you know, will will obviously for grinders and all that like the nine, the twelve, and all that are so much more powerful. They you know they increase the performance of the drill, but with the M12 they're all the same performance. It's just the longevity of each battery and all that. One of the frustrating things I, I like to say about it because I started off with the M18 range as well. It's like the prime example because they're they're both identical appliances. I'll bring you in and let, let you have a closer look. Is that with this, these two tools here, especially I've got loads of torches, and what I generally buy the torches for is obviously reasons, you know, for working and all that. That's why I've got Patsy the rocket light as well. But obviously, if I go to call out some people got power cuts and all that, I've probably got about six or seven. No, or, or even more, tor torches. So obviously if I go somewhere and someone's got a power cut, at least I offer to lend them the uh, the torches, you know, just to get them over through the evening, you know, it's just, but I will obviously review all the torches on a different, um, on a different episode. I just wanted to highlight, you know, the frustration, because obviously when you go to your bag or, you know, your tools and all that, you look to see, you know, with the M12, you have to have, you have to have a tool because all the tools have indicators other than the torch. I think even this, even my solder nine, that's even got a uh, battery indicator. It's only as far as I'm, I'm aware. And also the um, the USB, the first version of the USB. I don't know about the jackets. I've not got any of the clothes yet. I, I thought about the clothes, but I wanted the hoodie, but one of my friends, Chris, he's got one and I didn't really like the feel of it, you know, but yeah, so, and also with, with the M12, like, uh, with Milwaukee, what they have is they have a dual charger. Like this, this one's a rapid charger. I think they've even got a newer one now, supercharger. So I don't, don't know how, how, but that, and it comes with an M12 and an M18 on the same charger, and it is a lot quicker because I've I've got a few of the others. I don't, I generally, when I buy Milwaukee gear, I usually buy I usually buy them as bare units, and I buy them batteries. And usually, to be honest, I usually buy a battery when I buy a bare unit tool. To be fair, I usually get them from Power Tool Mate, and who's the other one? Power Tool GB. They're pretty good, but I've got to be honest. Power Tool Mate usually beats them all. But obviously, by by all means, look online. You know what I mean? Because it, they get different prices and all that. And and I very rarely buy them with the cases. I don't like the cases because I usually take them indoors and all that. And I'll show you how I, 
use all the tools as I go along. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll, give, I'll bring you in closer and we'll have a quick look at the actual batteries. Yeah, so this is the smallest battery they do and this is a uh, 1.5. You know, and I've I've got to be honest. I've had Milwaukee gear for, I've probably had the eight eight volt for probably about I'd say about eight years, but the uh, the uh, eighteen I've had for about twelve years, and I've never had anything any of the batteries go dud on me. See, that's a two amp power one. See, it's got it written there. They, those those are slightly different appearance. I'll show you. This is a three amp power one. Yeah. Yeah red lithium they're all i think they're all red lithium I, I don't actually understand what that means so there is a load of bullshit jargon but i can't be asked to look at it i don't think as it stands at the moment that the uh the uh 12 volt as the one key technology it's only it's only on that see and that's a six amp power battery that lasts forever i tell you it's absolutely awesome and that's the difference between the uh the 18 is that the 18 has an indicator there see that come on there which is so handy because obviously when you go to look for torches you want to know you know you don't want to be getting up in the loft and you, you don't want to obviously know until you know you get a tool which can be a bit painful you know because obviously you don't want to be getting up in the loft so that's got two bars on it so that would obviously last probably half a day you know that these do last for so long they're so impressive yeah and I'll just bring you up the uh, rapid charge up close as well. Sorry, I, could, I know I could have wiped it down, but this is real life shit. You know what I mean? This ain't stage. That's why I want to show you it's what it's like. But that is so impressive. If you've got any of the Milwaukee and you haven't got the rapid charge, I highly recommend that because it, it shaves off about a quarter of the running time for it. Yeah, hi everyone. I just thought I'd quickly show you. Like, so basically, I have uh, I have the two SDS drills. This is the original version, and this is the current version. At the, at the moment, I use I for, oddly enough, I use the old SDS. Ollie uses the new one, and I I use the new screwdriver, the quarter inch hex screwdriver to speed, and Ollie uses the old one. You know, I, I don't know why it is. I'd, for some reason, I don't prefer the new SDS. I don't know why. There's a couple of things. You know, the performance-wise is to, it is a lot better. It's a lot quicker. It's. I think they're about the same weight. Now, so this one is, is lighter. What I do is I run all the all the uh, spec underneath, so you know, you know, like the sizes. I think they're both. I think they're both maximum uh, concrete is 13 mil and steel is 10 or 12 mil. Obviously to drill steel, you'd obviously have to put a chuck converter in there. Obviously they're just normal standard SDS drills, bits and all that, but they are so nice. And like, you know, these are unbelievable. For their class, same for their class, there is no other class, but there's no other this size. And, you know, I know a few of you are probably thinking, ah, oh, yeah, it's not very powerful, but if you're only drilling five, five hole, holes, which, you know, nine times out of 10, we always do, Unless obviously, you know, unless obviously you're putting up dado trunking where you're probably putting like 15, 15, 15 uh, plugs and screws in one length, then probably you're best off using a 110 drill. But for this, for every day, you know, like for the caddies, they're, they're absolutely awesome. I, I really like them. I'll, I'll bring it up close and give you a, a closer look. One, one of the other things is, is that the actual battery on the old one goes out and the one in this one goes in and the size, you know, the, the newer one is does actually seem to be a little bit bigger, but it has got this. The newer one is the brushless one, you know, it's the uh, fuel range and all that. But yeah, I'll bring you in and have a look. And, and like as I said to you before, you know, these batteries, you know, I'll show you. I even put Yeah, so this is the older model. This is the older model, I'll just quickly show you. So obviously you've got um, left or right, you know. Just there and you've got the two speeds. You've obviously just got the, uh, 
the normal percussion, and then you've got the hammer there. Yeah, we've got the LED light there, the chuck there, see it just comes off, pull it back, pull it out. Easy as standard bit. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, obviously you've got to bear in mind this is 12 volts, so don't think it's gonna compare. So it's the same, it's just a bit modern. Yeah, so, yeah, so that drills up to uh, 13 mil SDS, which to be fair, you don't really want to be going much bigger than that. If you're doing even 10 mil, if you're doing like uh, 300 long or, 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 or bigger, I'd advise probably going up for something a bit. I've never ever used it with a chuck converter because obviously I carry around uh, the combi drills and these hex drills. I've never i've never used them for that but what i find they're really handy for so if you're doing remedial works in london and you're getting the train up to london and you've got to get you know them two in your rucksack is a lot better than like my one key uh combi drill you know it's uh and it's better yeah and i've just got screwdriver bit so this is the uh, new one this is my pride and joy i absolutely love this drill it's, it's by far my favorite i use it every day i've even changed my way of doing things i've bought everything now i've got is uh quarter hex you know so from my wood bits i buy to my cone cutters to even like uh, my hss bits are all uh quarter because this drill does everything it's so powerful i think uh, the torque setting on maximum is 57 newton meters uh, and I think it does, I think it says that you can drill up to 25 mil in wood, but you know, I wouldn't probably do that because you know, you don't want, you know, it's the same as everything, you know, like, so there, there is some jobs that these drills will do, but you know, if you've got like an 18 volt, you know, I, I work out my van most of the time. So I've usually got both drills on me, so I don't have to overwork this drill. Yeah. So it's got two settings. Yeah. And then they obviously it's got the drill drill setting and the screw. Yeah. Then I'll just quickly show you the other one before. Uh, the, this one is an absolute Amazon tree. I see this on Amazon years ago, and I think it was something ridiculous. Like it was, um, I think it was. I think I paid something like thirty six quid for it, bare unit, obviously, and all that. And it's been one of the best things ever. It's like I bought that other one. Because I thought this one was because the brakes going on it, you know, it is it's, it's proper more than earned its money. But this has got not the touch settings, but it's only got one speed. But for for, but for screwdriving, you know, it's it's awesome. It's a lot better than an impact driver because an impact driver just smashes the shit out of everything, doesn't it? And it just leaves everything in a mess. Yeah. So what what we tend to do, what we usually have set up is that we usually have these two uh, tall caddies. You know, usually in the van, either I use these two or I've got, also got this one, but this one is actually four at the moment because what I tend to do is enough a handy little tip as well. Hold on, where is it? I've actually got it in here. But when I, when I take, when I have a board change or I do any, uh, take any anything down or strip anything out, is I always have my magnet. magnet. This is a Baco one, like a ba Baco one, is I have my. Um, my, my magnet tray there and what I do is I collect all the screws and then usually they I have a bucket or a bucket or I'm using this tool cat at the moment and everything I get or at the end of the day I've got my foot pockets full of Wagos or anything I just throw them in there so then if I'm ever looking for an odd screw 2BA anything weird like that then I'll usually look in there every now and then I think uh, last year we had a little sort out and then Ollie just goes back and sorts it all out and puts it all in the screw tray but yeah that's a handy little guide but yeah we use these tool trays and what we usually do is we put both drills in there yeah and that's, that's it you know literally we, we cut a bit of conduit to length for the uh, the sizes you know we have the plugs and the screws in there you know you can have the P clips you know the armor glands you know conjure world's your oyster mate i tell you that these are so handy and it's such an efficient way of working you know because it's you can always get carried you can always get carried away with carrying around too much gear can't you you know what i mean and really all we need is a laser those and you're well away and that's well comfortable and you'll find that is so light that's probably the same that is probably the same weight as an 18 volt 18 volt sds drill and you've got two drills the actual the actual tool caddy and the um, all the fixings you know just you know it's just 
my, one of my ways of doing it, yeah? And uh, these are a few little SDS drills that I use along the way as well. I, you know, I've got no preferences for SDS drills because usually I'll just get them from the wholesaler. That's, an, that's a CK one, a Dwarf one, a Bosch one. You know, it depends on where I go, right? Because if I go to a tool station, I'm usually going there for filler, filler and the HSS bits. If I go to screw fix, which is quite rare, there's, there's not really anything other than a sandwich pan wagon at a screw fix. I don't really like going there. And so yeah, I think that's it. But yeah, honestly, if you if you have got Milwaukee and you've if you've got Milwaukee and you've only got the 18, then buy the rapid charger with and then that gives you the option. And then honestly, I I seriously recommend these. These are by far the best drills. I'd say the best drills, best SDS drills on the market, of course they are, because they're the only ones. You know what I mean? But honestly, get involved, lads, because they are awesome. Yeah. Right, I think that's, uh, that's us done for another episode. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you can like, subscribe, and I'll see you later, alligator, up the old blues.